Here we go. Can Simon get lucky on this flop and hit a six? No, 10, seven, three on the flop. Simon in trouble. Chris Limo with a 10, eight of clubs. He's gonna take a stab with this mediocrity. Makes it 275 to go. Mediocrity, I will not have you talk about 10-8 suited like that, Vince. <laughs> Simon goes away, Taha out, and now Farid with just a 4-5. Farid loves the action. We saw him win a big pot with seven deuce early on, and now look at this. He is gonna raise to 880 with just five high. And right behind him, Jesse has picked up a real hand, though. I mentioned earlier that as long as Simon is really short, there's an opportunity for the medium stacks and bigger stacks to pick on somebody like Chris Limo. But unfortunately for Fareed, Jesse Sylvia wakes up with Ace King behind him and is about to put in the four bet. There it is, just under 2.4 million to go. And I can't imagine Fareed believes that Jesse would fold at this point. I mean, he's put in 40% of his stack here. And Fareed with just five high doesn't have much of a play. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I call. Shoving here is beyond ridiculous. Wow. This, ugh. Maybe he's king. Wow, Fareed didn't need to jeopardize another five and a half million more. And right now, he's a pretty big dog. Good for Jesse, yes, good for Jesse. Let's go. Right, He's a big favorite to double up and become a massive chip leader here, and he finds the ace. It's an ace 10 3. So a deuce would give Fareed Jatin a straight. Otherwise, he was in bad shape here against the ace king of Jesse Sylvia. Fareed needs to spike that deuce right now. Not to be as a queen hits on the turn. We're going to the river. Jesse Sylvia, a huge favorite here to double up and cripple Fareed Jatin. He only needs to dodge a deuce. That is Fareed's only out going to this river. The lifeguard with a save of his life, one card away from a massive pot. And it will hold up as a jack of spades hit Jesse Sylvia. Absolutely gonna cripple Fareed Jatton. I can't believe what I just saw, Vince. Uh, that is one of the worst spew-offs I've witnessed in my time on the World Poker Tour. And Fareed Jatton is the story of the night. He's practically the short stack at this point, and now he's got a pair of eights. And only about 10 blinds here for Fareed, so I would just expect him to shove pre-flop. He's gonna push it all in. There he goes. Jesse has a queen four. Can't play that hand. And Zach has picked up oh, the wow. pair of aces. How much is it? At the right time. Zach gonna play a little bit coy here in case anyone behind him finds a quality hand. I call. Yeah, does a whining call. Try to induce a couple guys on his left, perhaps. Mm, I guess I call. Peel it, peel it. Chris Limo rubs Zach for luck, but he doesn't know yet that... I don't need to look at the second one. The only lucky way to play this hand is to find junk in fold preflop. Yeah, they all go out and they're gonna show their hands. Oh, Fareed can't believe it. Up against the aces. Good luck, Fareed. He's in shock. I mean, he started out as such a big chip leader at the final table, and now he's down to this pair of eights. I don't know what to say, Vince. I mean, I've never seen a final table meltdown quite like this. Let's go to the flop. Oh, oh man. Ace, king, queen. Technically, Fareed could go perfect, perfect with running eights, or he could go jack 10 for a chop, but he's essentially finished. It's not over yet. It is, honey. <laughs> Sit down, Fareed. Oh. Yeah. Fareed getting up. He is devastated, but there's still a long, long, long shot. Turn is an eight. Oh. So Fareed with one out going to the river. If Fareed can find the case eight in the deck and hit running perfect, perfect, he will double up and stay alive. Otherwise, he will be our sixth place finisher. Vince, I might piss myself if an eight comes on the river. I don't know about, want to see that, but I understand. Going to the river. 
Can Farid hit the miracle of the year? Let's take a look. No, it's a four heart. Well, Vince, a shock ending that no one expected from our once insurmountable chip leader, Farid Jatton, goes from 15 million to out in sixth place. That is right. There is nothing safe in poker, especially here at the Bagata Poker Open. Farid out, gonna take home 167,000. Let's talk to the victim. Come on, on a chit chat at the table. And we move on a quick fold. And now Jesse Sylvia with a nice mid pair of sevens. Lines are 6120. He is gonna make it 280 to go. Zach gets out of the way. And now we look at Chris Limo's hand. He's got ace five. Well, we haven't seen him get creative pre-flop so far, but he hasn't folded yet. And uh, he's reaching for raising chips, huh? He's going to try to make a move with the ace-5. He's going to move it up to 6.55 to go. Chris's image is right for this play, but his execution is wrong. He's attacking the biggest stack player on the table at a moment when Simon is on the brink of elimination. And re-raise the size that uh, Jesse Whoa. will never fall to. Plus, Jesse has a set now, so that's even worse. 6.80? Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, I just got two flat tires in that limo. I didn't like it before, and I like it even less now. Well, let's see what Jesse's going to do with this, whether you're pop now or just call. What a flop for him. Just calling. Going to try to trap Mr. Limo. I like the call there from Jesse. Uh-oh. The three gives him some outs to a deuce to make a wheel. All in. Call. A quick call! Oh, no. Vince, this is just a disaster. I, uh, I need a deuce or a six. Yeah, he's got some outs going to the river, but he should never be in this hand while Simon is so short. The limo about to fly off a cliff. He needs a miracle. He needs a two or a six. Deuce six. One time, baby. Limo time. Down to the river we go. Last five, John. Two six. River card is a nine, not gonna work out. Jesse Sylvia makes a full house on the river and scores his second elimination in this final table, knocking out Chris Limo in fifth place. Chris Limo will pick up 207,000, and then also with that, let's go talk to him. My goal was just to get here. I got here. You know, I was short stacked the entire tournament, pretty much. If it was meant to be, I would hit the deuce and a six. It wasn't meant to be, it is what it is, you know? No regrets. Well, I'll be back. Oh, Phil, I'm glad I caught you. Um, I don't know what you're getting into this weekend, but I'm hosting my uh, monthly uh, poker game. Yeah, the stakes, you know, they're a little smaller, but with straddles and bomb pots, I mean, it can play pretty big. I mean, put it this way, Phil, I've seen the pot reach $100. And my wife is making her nacho dip. So it's, it's pretty good. Hold, please. Did you say nachos? Sign up for free today at WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code YT60 and play the $1 for 1 million tournament. Yeah, the blinds are 6120, getting very expensive. Let's go to the table. Action this on this Zach. Be a really sick run out if he goes 8 8. <laughs> Fold by him, and now Simon says all in with an A6. Absolutely. On the short stack. Let's see if he gets action or not. Taha with a 9-10 has to fold. Jesse getting a very good price here in the big blind. Let's take a look at Jesse's cards. Ooh. <laughs> this is outrageous. <laughs> what is it, 6-something? Six 6.30. Six oh, that's over 5. Okay. That's an easier decision. Come on. He's going to fold. Simon's going to pick it up with ace high. Seems very happy to take that one down. He's just picking on the big blind of the guy who doesn't know math, dude. He's like, he four, pulled into a four big blind jam. Let's do this. This is awesome, dude. I've never seen such a survivor. Fighting, boys. Just doubled up. Name of the game. Name of the game. Every pot is massive at this stage. I mean, he just increased his stack by 50%. Has increased his payout by at least 83,000 here tonight just by folding from six to fourth. Now he has jack six suited first to act. What's he want to do? All in. He wants to go all in. 
He's going to push and hope. Taha first to compete with. He's got queen 10. He's going out. Jesse is out. Over to Zach. Ooh, he's got a decision. 870. Oh, this one's a close one. This could be the guy that takes you down. Well, I guess no gamble, no future. Going to showdown here. He's going to have to suck out if he wants to stay alive. No gamble, no future. You're King Jack. Good luck, man. Thanks, man. Good luck. No one means it. Not at all. Six, six. Here we go. Can Simon get lucky on this flop and hit a six? No. Ten, seven, three on the flop. Simon in trouble. Zach looking good. Here we go to the turn. Three going to pair the board. Simon needs a six. That's going to do it. That's the only card for Simon. Six a heart. He's one of the three sixes, or his night is over. Here's a river. Here's a king. Zach Greenberg is going to eliminate Simon Lamb in fourth place. Did a fantastic job of surviving on the short stack and moving up two pay places. Going to collect $250,970 for his efforts. Yeah, pretty good for Simon Lamb. Great guy. He hung on as long as he could. Let's go talk to him. Uh, yeah, I think I played perfect. I, I really couldn't find anything else that I could do. Um, I got cooler pretty early, ace king of hearts to pocket fours. Um, I don't think I could have done anything else differently. I got two pay jumps with 10 big blinds. What more can I ask for? Look, you're down to four blinds with six players left, and you end up finishing fourth? That's a good ladder. And Zach looks down at a pair of fours. He will come with a raise, 350 total. Taha Maruf, whoa, big hand, ace, king. Has a degree in psychology, and he's gonna re-raise, he's figured it out. Makes it 925 total. Jesse gets out of the way. I would rather shove with Zach's hand than call. Small pocket pairs don't play great post-flop in three-bet pots. But we're going to a flop, and it's a pretty good one for Zach's pocket fours. Taha hit nothing. He's going to pretend like he did. This is an uncoordinated flop, so I like that Taha is firing out here and that he's made a very small bet, as that will get Zach to fold plenty of the hands in his range that get to the flop. Well, he gets the call. Turn card is an ace. Taha hits the aces. That puts a flush draw on the board as well. Ooh, do not like that check at all out of Taha. I mean, his, his opponent can have pairs, his opponent can have an ace, can have draws. It just well, Let's see what happens. Eh. Ooh, oh man, and Zach has made a straight on the river, and this is going to cost Taha some money. Well, now Taha's doing everything backwards. Now he's going to bet 925. Zach hitting the holy card right there, making his straight. How much do you have left? Asking in a discouraged way. 2.7. Yeah, thanks. Obvious tell. <laughs> Zach rechecking his card, something he does surprisingly often for a professional. Mike Sexton hates that. Unless you're a top 30 player in the world, then he accepts it. <laughs> Some players do it. Reverse psychology. I'm all in. I think that's what he had in mind, and there goes the shove. Wow. Putting the pressure on Taha for all his money. Zach has the best hand here, and he's shoving for value. But watching stuff like this makes me think, what a great spot it is to bluff these kind of situations. Zach, I also think, is very solid. He's raising with premiums. He's not mixing it up. He's not uh, re-raising, three-betting, four-betting, uh, out of position. Most of the hands that he showed down were good hands. He makes a great lay down right there. He does. He gets away on the river, but he could have avoided that entire situation by betting the turn. Well, Zach didn't catch the spider in the web, but it's still a pretty good pot for him. Hoping to take the rest of Taha's chips there by shoving the river for value, but Taha does get away, manages to fold an ace. Great lay down. 
And now Taha crippled here. Get about 2.7 total at this point. Action's on him, and what? he's got the ladies. Oh, man, what a squeeze. I was on the edge of my seat. Just had the nose. There's another queen back there. Well, he's raised a 375, Jesse out, and now Zach is going to look down at an ace eight. Hmm. This is interesting, Vince. Uh, Taha's playing under 20 big blinds here, and in a three-ended match, ace eight's a strong hand against 20 blinds. I, I'm not sure what Zach will do. I'm all in. Oh, there you go. Yes, and the insta call. Yeah, I know what Taha will do. Taha, a nice favorite here to double up. Get back into solid contention. He's got the queens, the ladies. Nice. Zach, he's got his mother and fiance on the rail, rooting him on. All right, let's go to the flop. Oh, there's an ace on the door. Ace 10-3. And all of a sudden, Taha is drawing thin for his tournament life. Oh, he gets up from the table, sickened by that flop. Mom loves it. It's a devastating first three cards. Taha picking the vomit off his shirt. The turn is. 10 on the turn. Not to help Taha. <laughs> oh, no. He's taking the microphones <laughs> off. He's like, I'm not going to need this anymore. You got two queens left in the deck to help poor Taha. Otherwise, he's out in third place. Oh, it's a king. It is a face card, but not the queen that Taha needs. And just like that, we are down to two wins between Jesse Sylvia and Zach Moomoo. Yes, Taha Maru going to go out, going to take home 300000 A good sport, a great player. Let's talk to him. Uh, I expected uh, nothing, really. I was, I was uh, super happy to like actually uh, be here and be the final six, so, and they're all good players. Nobody was weak, and uh, I felt like I was a dog, so I'm very happy with my result. It's Jesse Sylvia. Blinds a one and two, he makes it four. And Zach Grunenberg with a five, six of diamonds makes the insta call. Let's take a look. And it is King Deuce Deuce, two diamonds on the flop, so pretty good texture for Zach here, and nothing much for Jesse, but this is the kind of texture that players almost always continuation bet with their garbage hands. Well, Zach with the four flush has checked. Jesse's going to make a bet. And Zach is aware of the fact that players almost always bet this flop with their garbage hands. So you see him cutting out raising ships there. And I really like this because even if Jesse is aware of the fact that Zach is probably raising on a draw, there's not very much he can do about this if he doesn't happen to have a pair. He has raised total 950. Putting it back in Jesse's face. Not much you can do with that hand. And you gotta lay it down. Jesse does so. Zach gonna take this one. Thanks. All right, Zach! There's Zach's mom just enjoying her evening. You can't blame her watching her son. She's gotta be so proud as he stacks up those chips. What do you think there's extra pressure on him, Tony? What do you think? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know. I've never had my mom, like, come and watch a live poker tournament. I wouldn't I wouldn't know if I would feel increased pressure or decreased <laughs> just because, you know, it's good to have her yeah. in the crowd or something. Like, not really sure how I would respond to that. Well, it's working for him so far, so now he's got a pair of 10s. And the blinds are 125, 250, and he is going to make it a quick 600,000. And Jesse looks down at a strong ace queen. Two quality hands and a heads-up battle. Jesse reaching for raising chips here. How big does he want to go? Jesse will three bet here. He wants to make it 1,875,000. Zach has uh, some options here. He can shove, he can call, he could make a small re-raise and try and induce Jesse to shove on him. I'm not really sure what he wants to do, but it looks like a call. Which do you have behind Zach? I started with like 13 million, maybe. Ace queen versus tens. This could do it potentially. Here we go with the first three. And uh oh, oh man, queen jack jack. Great for Jesse hitting top pair with ace kicker. Oh wow, just out flopping. Poor Zach. He's cutting out chips to make a bet. 
I like that Jesse uh, sized it under his preflop re-raise amount. He made it about 1.9 preflop, and here he's betting 1.3. Zach is not done yet. He's going to make the stubborn call. Zach knows that if Jesse was bluffing preflop, he'd follow oh, through. Man. Oh, wow. He got wow. lucky. Hits a 10. Like he knew it was coming. He hits the 10. He's filled up. Wow. What a nice check by Jesse. And Jesse is not loving that card. Gruneberg hitting lightning there. Oh, and he's going to stick out a big bet. 2.1 million. Well, there's a shot of Vanessa Selps on Jesse's rail, hanging out with her wife, Miranda, and his girlfriend, Ashley. Quite a rail he has going on tonight. He is going to gamble. Jesse's certainly not going to fold here. His real decision will be on the river, especially when it's an inconsequential brick like the Three of Hearts. Jesse's going to check. Hope this guy just slows down. We know better. Ten and a half million in the pot and a little under eight in Zach's stack. So, how much does he want to bet here? I'm all in. He wants to bet all of it. He's going for it all. All right. And so now Jesse's job is to think about Zach's range of hands and which of them would play this way by calling the flop, betting the turn, and shoving the river. And the issue he's having right now is it's very difficult to find many bluffs that Zach could have. It's so hard for you to be bluffing. And it's even harder to find a hand that's worse than Jesse's that could be shoving for value. Like, I don't think Zach's going to go all in on this river with King Queen. And pretty much everything else he could have beats what Jesse has, even though for a moment it seemed like he had a really strong hand. How much is it exactly? I must just folded the turn. I probably should have. you possibly be bluffing with? And there you have it. What could you possibly be bluffing with? And that is the conundrum of Jesse's hand. You could like call with a seven of clubs or something. That seems ridiculous. Jesse just scratching his head. What a torture chamber. Just aggravating. You're invested so deeply. Oh, you'll love yourself in the morning if you could lay this down. Nice hand, Zach. He's going to do it. Nice lay down by Jesse there. And mom is excited. She's spilling drinks all over the place. What, what she's having. Would have been a sweet spot to show a bluff. You know I got it, kid. Come on. Oh, Phil, I'm glad I caught you. Um, I don't know what you're getting into this weekend, but I'm hosting my uh, monthly uh, poker game. Yeah, the stakes, you know, they're a little smaller, but with straddles and bomb pots, I mean, it can play pretty big. I mean, put it this way, Phil, I've seen the pot reach $100, and my wife is making her nacho dip, so. It's, it's pretty good. Hold, please. Did you say nachos? Sign up for free today at WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code YT60 and play the $1 for 1 million tournament. Lines are two and 400. Jesse looks down at an attractive king, 10 of hearts. How does he want to play this year? He's definitely going to raise, but how much? All in. That much. Yeah, he's going to be a bully. He's going to shove. Let's take a peek at Zach's cards. Just a miserable 5-4. Can't call. Jesse continues to pummel his short-stacked opponent. Jesse Sylvia, the man that got in it through a satellite, only paid 700 bucks, a bargain, on the verge of the title. But right now, with the button, Zach has a queen-eight. 
I'm all in. And he's gonna shove all in. Zach here sitting on 13 blinds, rips it in with queen eight. Jesse can't find the call with 10-4 suited. Gonna let Zach walk away with this one. And the audience is shocked, shocked, I tell you. <laughs> Jesse up to close to 30 million. Zach with about six, blinds two and 400. Well, he might be short here, Vince, but remember, things can change very quickly in heads up hold'em. If Zach were to win two all-ins, he would have the chip lead. All in. Jesse's gonna shove with just a jack four of hearts and hope that Zach has no calling hand, but it's an ace deuce. Ooh. I call. Zach does have a calling hand. He's gonna make this call and get his money in good here, but he's not that big of a favorite. Sweat again, boy. What? Oh, that might have been. Oh, that's late or not. I don't know if ace deuce was the light call, but. No, that's definitely correct, I think. Mine might be a little, a little hairy. <laughs> I love the uncertainty that both of them have about the this, this hand. They're, oh, well, did I play it right? I don't know. Did you play it right? I don't know. Here we go with the flop. Jack 9 8. <laughs> That's a swap. Jesse hitting jacks, but a four flush for Zach. That's a fun one. That is a fun flop. Yeah, something for everyone here. Zach has outs to the club or ace. You could also go runner runner for a straight that would split this pot. Here comes the turn. Queen of spades on the turn. So Zach picks up an out to a 10 for a chop. Some outs. <laughs> Any club or ace gets him the win. Otherwise, Jesse Sylvia is gonna be our champion. A former lifeguard in a great place to take down this title. Can he do it? Will he do it? Here comes the river. It's a king of diamonds. Jesse's gonna do it. He's our champion. That was so much fun playing with you. Congrats. Oh my God. Well, a couple of great guys in the poker community hit a big score tonight. That is the biggest score of Zach Grunenberg's career. You won a tournament. No, it's not. And the first major title for Jesse Sylvia. Let's hear from our runner-up, Zach. I just wanted to make one of these TV final tables. Getting second's fine. I wanted to go heads up with Jesse. Coming into the day, Farid had the runaway. I, I couldn't be any heavier. Like, obviously, I want to win. I'm a competitor. But, like, at the end of the day, when I go home and I lay down, I'll, I'll be feeling pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, let's say hello to the new Brigada Poker Open champion, Jesse Sylvia! Yeah. Jesse, how are you feeling right now, buddy? Oh my god, I'm just in complete shock. I, I don't know, I just, I couldn't have even dreamed of, uh, like, in my dreams, I win the tournament and it just, like, it didn't happen like that. It just happened so quickly and everything just, like, fell into place and, I got lucky where I needed to, and it was just amazing. A lot of adversity. You came in, actually, as the shortest stack at the table. Did you ever believe you could overcome all the odds? Yeah, I mean, it was weird, because I had, like, a plan coming in, and uh, just none of the spots for that plan really came up, but it just all came together, and it was crazy. <laughs> well, Jesse, you have won 821000 You also will get your name inscribed on the Champions Cup. You'll get the beautiful You Blow watch. You'll get the monster headphones. Do you like headphones? I like headphones. He likes headphones. He's going to get it all. Lynn, back to you.